Okay guys, uh, welcome once again to an episode of Scott Talks Law. So this is an episode whereby Scott Talks Law. And in this episode we are going to talk, to talk about the unit of ICT and the law. And we are going to talk about data protection and digital privacy. So uh, the main aim of studying this uh, topic of data protection and digital privacy is to ensure that our data is protected from being uh, accessed by people without our consent. So this law that uh, protects our data from unnecessarily uh, being accessed by people without our consent. So at Kota Duanza, what you can see uh, protects our data or protects our right to privacy. According to this article, every person has the right to privacy, which includes right not to have information relating to their family or private affairs are necessarily required being revealed. So you have that right to, uh, not to have your information to be revealed by people without your consent. So you have the principles of fair use and these are the principles that are there to ensure that data is protected from being accessed by people unnecessarily. So these are principles that are set to ensure data protection. And these are principles like, there are five principles, principle of consent, principle of uh, surveillance, principle of um, privacy and confidentiality, principle of legality of data collected, and the principle of right to information. So the principle of consent, we have three types of consent. We have law consent that is said uh, by, by the, the that one that is there under legal capacity. If you have that legal capacity, then that is and express the willingness to do something, that is the type of consent. You have informed consent, that one which after you have uh, been informed the consequences of uh, that action that you are doing. And you also have um, willing consent, that one that you, ex the free consent that you express your willingness. So those are the three types of consent under these principles of fair use, the principle of consent. The second principle the so under the principle of consent you have the case of Catherine versus uh, Catherine Manjil versus Machakos University and this is where Catherine's picture was taken for an advert without her consent and that led to comp her compensation of 500,000 shillings so because her picture was taken without her expressing her willingness to allow the picture to be taken without her expressing her free consent so it was a, pre a breach to the right to private to her right to privacy. Therefore, she was compensated for that. The second principle is the principle of surveillance, and this is a form of monitoring of activities. So this principle prevents people from monitoring your action or activities or everything that you are doing without you uh, giving them their, your consent. And surveillance is a form of monitoring. And you'll find in cases whereby they are building and these people are being monitored by CCTV cameras. So that form of monitoring is what it's referred to as surveillance. So um, the case of uh, so uh, and we have the case of Copland versus United Kingdom at 2004, where the court ruled that there was no law allowing employees to monitor their telephone to monitor employers' telephone conversation and email and usage of internet by employees. So, you have that right to privacy, not to have your personal data or information to be accessed by people without your consent. So, you cannot have uh, people accessing your personal information, maybe phone uh, information, without you expressing your consent to that uh, access. Another principle is the principle of privacy and confidentiality and this is the principle that ensures that your privacy and confidentiality is protected. And the case of Naomi Campbell versus MNG 2008 case, the court ruled that disclosing that Ms. Campbell was a drug addict in treatment was in the public interest because Ms. Campbell had previously published publicly denied drug use. So Mr. Ms. Campbell had denied that she was on drug use publicly. So that information was um, disclosing was on the interest of the public. Another case is the case of Okio Mtata versus the Co Communication Authority of Kenya. The court held that the decision to implement the DMS was on was inconsistent with the provision of the constitution as a the threat to 
subscribers right to privacy so uh, Omtata's right to privacy had been limited the fourth principle is the principle of legality of data collected and uh, according to this principle uh, uh, according to this principle data collected must be adequate must be not must not be in excess it should have lawful proceeding and it must be legal so the case of YF versus Turkey arrest on political accusation that led to the check of HIV status. You have that right to privacy. If people arrest you and then proceed to check your HIV status, does it make sense? So you have that right to privacy to ensure that there are particular details that you cannot just disclose without expressing consent. So the case of Laylord versus Boom. So another right, another principle of fair use, the principle of privacy versus right to information. Article 24 provides limitation to this right to rights, the limitations of rights. So uh, the, uh, the right to privacy versus right to information. And this um, is the fifth principle of fair use that is said to ensure the privacy of data. So the laws on data protection, you have Article 31 sub Article C of data protection, not to have your family or private affairs unnecessarily required being revealed. Data Protection Act 2019 of uh, of 2019 Section 24 to 38, and uh, we also have international laws like that one of Kenya. The Kenya, you have international laws that like Universal Declaration of Human Rights from Article 12 to Article 19, International Convention of Civil and Political Rights Article 16, Computer Misuse and Authorized Access Act. And case laws and uh, the case laws of that of Catherine versus Machakos University. So that is about uh, data protection and digital privacy. So you just have that uh, right not to have your personal data or information being accessed by people without your consent. That is the end of my lecture.